Okay, what we're looking at here is a perfectly good 4D cell mag light. Oh, are we? If you open up the back... ...and have a look down there... ...you can see that the last cell has corroded itself in place and rendered the entire mag light completely useless. As you can see, it's completely stuck. The good news is you've probably got everything you need to extract this battery just lying around in your garage, and if not, it's, pretty sim it's a pretty simple shopping list. You're going to need a coach screw. This one's an M8 by 75mm long. A drill and a set of drill bits, and something to wrench on that coach screw. Lastly, you need an anchor that you're going to leverage against and a simple bit of timber like this will do the job. Step one is to drill a hole in the middle of the timber that the coach screw can fit in without grabbing onto the timber. Like so. You can see here why the length of the coach screw is important. The last battery comes up to there, and when you put your anchor timber there, you want to make sure that there's enough space here for the coach screw to screw into the battery and firmly anchor onto it before you start trying to extract it. Otherwise, the screw is just going to pull out of the battery, and the battery case is going to remain stuck in your expensive torch. Step two is to drill a pilot hole in the back of the battery. As you can see, I've already done this. The hole needs to be large enough that the coach screw can screw into it without deforming the battery case and jamming it further against the case of the torch, but not so big that the coach screw just pulls out of the battery, leaving it in place. Step four, place your wooden anchor over the top of your mag light and drop the coach screw in. Just turn it by hand until you feel that it's got a bit of purchase on the battery and then you can start wrenching. Once it's tightened up like this, every pull now is going to be putting a bit of upward pressure on the battery, hopefully dislodging it. Right, as you could see, that one was slipping, so we're going to go with a slightly bigger gauge coach screw and a longer one as well. Bingo! So there we have the primary offender. Now the $56 question is, was it the only offending battery?